Life has been changing continuously the way we communicate. Now, how many of you in this place will use postcards or inland letters to communicate with your relatives? Is there anybody here who will use letters, postcards? You don't use. All of us have changed. We are using mobile phones. We are using high-end equipment. We are going to use tablets. So, we are living in the world of advanced uh, communication where it's going to change. It's just an evolution. In, in future, we'll have chips in the body. You're going to see much more and future is going to be full of engineering and engineering products. And one question to all of you here, I, I want to ask you, all of you have studied the electricity in plus two, that's intermediate. Uh, so I'll ask you this question only to the students, the faculty should not answer, our parents should not answer if you know this answer. So all of you have seen trains, right? Electric trains. Yes? Yes or no? Yes. yes. So in electric trains, there is a wire uh, uh, running on the uh, top of the train and uh, you are able to run the train and you know in, uh, at home if you have to run a fan or a TV you need two wires. How is this happening? There is only one wire on the top. How is the train running with one wire? Any student who want to answer? How can a train, train run with one wire? And all of you know at home you need two wires to run anything. When you are inserting a plug into the uh, Switchboard, you know there are two uh, hooks there to actually connect. Two wires are required. Can anybody tell me, any student, I'll give you a prize after this meeting is over. I want only student to answer. I'll repeat it for your benefit. We have a train running and there is a wire. All of you agree there is a wire above the train? Students, yes or no? Yes. So there is a wire running above the train and only one wire. And how is it that the train is running without the second wire? Anybody wants to answer? We'll give you a prize. Any student here? Okay, I'll, I'll tell the answer. I'll not uh, uh, lose time. Uh, the, the other wire is the ground. That is the track. And everywhere you see, wherever there is a pole, there is a grounding connected to the track. Did you see that? No, no. Whenever you go back to the uh, railway station, you observe the pole. Any cur current pole with, with the electric wire running for the railways, it will have a grounding for the track. And the neutral is from the track. And this is very, very simple. And the reason I am talking this to you today is, when I was doing my first year engineering, I got this doubt. Why is this happening? And why am I telling you uh, today is, you should think engineering in your practical life. Don't worry about books. You will get knowledge. I am sure if you love engineering, you will get marks. You will get, you'll get many things in life. But are you doing engineering? Or are you joining engineering by chance or by choice? How many of you joined engineering by chance? That is, everybody is joining, I am also joining. How many of you want to say, I want to join engineering, I joined engineering in this group? Anybody? Students, don't worry. You don't have to uh, worry to lift your hands. How many of you joined engineering by choice? Anybody here? So the reason I am asking this question is very important. After four years also, you will ask this question. Because you will not know where to go after four years if you don't ask this question today. Because it's very, very important to understand why you joined engineering and what you're going to do in engineering. Unless you answer this question, there is no motivation to come to classes daily. There is no motivation to, to actually uh, attend the classes with sincere interest. There is no motivation to write the exams regularly because it's not part of your agenda. Simple problem. And I'll, I'll tell you now, there is uh, IPL matches that are happening, T20. If I ask you about which is the next match today, tomorrow, all of you might answer. Yes or no? Yes? Yes, most of you know. I don't know the matches, but I'm sure all of you are aware of it. So, this is this is a fact. Because whatever is interesting to you, you will remember. Whatever is not interesting, you will not remember. That's why I'm saying, make engineering interesting. Enjoy engineering. Very simple. If you observe daily the fans, the electricity, everything is the solution that engineering has brought. Everything that you are enjoying in terms of scientific knowledge and technology is, is what you are enjoying as part of engineering. And this is given to you by our ancestors, to all of us. And we need to build this for a positive good and for the betterment of the mankind. 
and all of you can think of each of uh, every uh, one of you can look at various problems and and apply these solutions how many of you have seen this mosquito bat domal ko some bat ent man chusaru everybody knows that mosquito bat do you think that is the first solution for mosquitoes initially we used to have uh, coils odoma cream then mat then finally all out all this didn't work then finally we are working with bats yes or no do you think this is a this is a solution given by engineers yes or no there is engineering in this yes or no so you need to look at life from an engineering perspective because you are all in engineering colleges and you are you are definitely going to win because when you are being recruited by any company let us say indian company or foreign company they only look at the way you can apply your knowledge because all that any industry needs is how can you make their life better how can you make their life better see previously we used to use wells and we used to actually pull with ropes water and somebody discovered or invented a, a pump now we are pumping water to fields and all places then we have generators we have electricity previously manually we had to do all the work now we are having inverters so we are implementing our building technologies for our benefit and for the for the easy life that that everybody wants so this is the spirit of engineering if you look at any job in future i can tell you because i have seen people earning huge salaries in iit being from iit system we have seen uh, people earning higher salaries people earn low salaries as well uh, iit and all of them may not earn high salaries but the fact is engineering uh, education is respected for the fact that you can apply your knowledge to solve practical problems it can be any practical problem it can be a small problem on connecting some wires at your home to connecting a transformer all of it is is connected to engineering but you need to start looking at your life from an engineering perspective will you agree from today will you start your engineering perspective yes or no okay i will i'll ask you one more question with this i'll i'll stop my questions so the the question is why is the manhole round cycle in nature there you have drainage manholes right many people fall down in hyderabad because they are never closed so why why is it circular in nature this is a google interview question or you can call microsoft interview question very interesting question why is a manhole circular in nature you, you, you don't see any manholes which are in square right why is the manhole circular in nature anybody want to answer students because this this is an engineering problem it's not uh, something that is designed for fun there is some engineering behind it that's the reason they are they are made circular in shape so i'll give you the answer if you look at the manhole if you have a square kind of model it will take more area and if a person has to get down the 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 area is large for the metal sheet if you look at a circular sheet a person can get get inside the hole with less area that's how that's one reason for making the manhole circular second reason second reason is it won't fit in actually if it is a square if you put it in diagonal diagonally it will actually fall inside at least portion of the square portion if you put it diagonally it will fall inside the hole if it is circular it won't fall down it will fall inside so there are few more reasons scientific and mathematical reasons for making the manhole cycle that's that's the circular in nature and you all should understand why everything is working this way that's when you will start understanding why you are studying engineering why a subject is taught to you how many of you joined here uh, electronics and communication good number of people might have joined electronics good number of people have joined computer science so all of you have a have an application industrial application to be put to use and that is the object of engineering you are going to come out as engineers electronics or computer science or electrical or mechanical and serve the industry in various forms by devising various solutions and by giving various uh, solutions to the industry problems as well as common man's problem and if you ask me problems you all know problems india doesn't have good drinking water india has more cell phones less toilets you know that india has highest number of cell phones but very less number of toilets so we have too many problems with technology itself which we need all of us to sit together think and solve these problems and that is where i am i am i am telling you very very uh, honestly that we need to put our sincere efforts this i am not telling you out of uh, ease i i also belong to very remote place i belong to a place called badrachalam so i also came from a remote place it's not tough all of you might think it's tough 
no it's it's very easy and i i went to iit we i i chose not to take up a job because i felt a job is a routine everybody will look at job so i wanted to start my own so eventually i was thinking of some engineering problems so i looked at internet security as a problem so we uh, solved internet security problem what we did is if you look at many people make uh, online banking i don't know how many of you use online banking maybe you use internet uh, banking for uh, making the irc it is a train booking and other bookings so the problem in this online banking is people cheat that is your details are stolen and they actually make money with your accounts that is they steal your username and password and they buy something else online and finally you lose money so what we have done is we have identified a solution and eventually we sold them to polaris and eventually i became independent so which was like i don't have to work and eventually i started this company called gopridge so that's the benefit that you can get if you are able to look at engineering from an engineering perspective and the way you look at should be from your passion not by force i agree college will take care and ensure that all of you are doing well that's college responsibility but i think we should not put too much blame on the college we are all individuals individual citizens of india we want all freedom all things we want but when it comes to responsibilities we want somebody else to push but i request you to remember studying engineering or working in engineering college or doing an activity in engineering uh, education or a project is your passion is your duty as a citizen of india you should take it in a lot of pride because if you look at the cost of education andhra pradesh has the lowest cost of engineering fees so you are getting best education at a very very affordable price so ensure that you make the best use of it and and take it as a duty don't push it uh, like somebody else wants to do it and and you don't want to do it please take it as a discipline and and you follow it and you do it